Today we are going to make a pizza app and primarily we will be doing a swipe animation in it. Um, you will be just swiping the pizza flavors and uh, the present pizza flavor would appear. Alright. Why uh, pizza? Because I love pizzas and who does not, right? And uh, fun story that um, today I'm going to be making pizza as well. So you can go check on my um, X account about my pizza. Alright, so I have already some assets over here, some flavors, and I have added a top navigation uh, with the background and the branding of a random company. And then there's a placeholder for pizza. Then we just have some uh, pizza flavors and add ons over here. Over here, we would be adding a bottom navigation bar for the add to cart option. All right, we'll be just using the assets that we already have. Over here, I'm not um, like, um, modifying the text and making components out of everything, right? Because I want to emphasize on the swipe animation and how would we be an animating that part of the, um, the pizza in, in Figma, right? So we need to get this done. Um, so we have the price, we have the add to cart button, and then over here, uh, we just use the same button to for the uh, size, pizza size. Uh, not the best choice, but uh, all right, let's get uh, to our pizza. All right, for the demo, I have three pizza flavors over here, and um, you can use a, a circle, right? And you can place these pizzas on top of it. Um, so I need you to imagine with me, right? So we would be animating not just the movement but the size as well right that's why i have kept one uh one of the pizzas is large and the rest two are small because the large one would minimize to the small one when we would be swiping it to the right right and the small one like the next step that is upcoming would become would enlarge when it's coming the uh the present one right so this motion would be observed like it's a two-way motion the size growing as well and the, the diameter that will be following right so we will be duplicating it uh, on all of the pizzas and just sw swap the pizza the current pizza in their, their directions right as i'm doing it right now and of course and uh, one more thing we would be rotating it as well right so as you can see i have rotated all of the pizzas as well so you rotate it so it, it gives a really nice motion and how would we be animating because we would be dragging it right of course so and we were dragging it it would be we would be using the sw uh, smart animate so figma uh, would automatically uh, understand it right and we would do it both ways for each screen right each screen should be connected with the other both screens i would just update uh, all the pizzas right this is my favorite one neapolitan and uh, leave me on the comment uh, which one is your favorite all right here's the demo now so here the pizza goes it turns and the next pizza comes up all right and over here if you noticed the bottom navigation bar is at the front right so we can push it to the back by selecting all of them and over here in the demo you can see now all our pizzas are being rotated enlarged and swiped across as well right and um, what we can do is we can uh, optionally beautify the app as well because a dark mode app no one would be buying the pizza right so i would just uh, spend a couple of minutes to beautify the app and you can share your own versions of your apps as well so i would just add some leaves over here and um, Again, we would be using the same assets. For the smart animate to work efficiently is to use the same assets. So Figma recognizes them and then maps the animation based on the, uh, the same assets, right? So these leaves are the same, right? And we are just changing their position. We have duplicated them into 
in all of these three screens. And um, now when we see the demo, here, um, the pizza is being swiped while the leaves are changing its position as well, right? Here you go. So let me know what should I do next and how was this tutorial?